Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It is the Junkie, and I am back with my new comic book day haul. I went to the shop today, went to Best Buy for some Black Friday sales, picked up a few movies, and I picked up uh, my weekly comics. Well, it's a good little stack this week, probably 15 or so books, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, let's go ahead and do the DC books first. Got Detective Comics 1077, cover B. Um, so you guys know, the only two DC titles I'm really picking up are Batman and Detective Comics, cover Bs. Um, it's the only one I've stuck with. And you guys know, I gotta trim down the, I gotta trim down the, um, the stack so that I can, uh, so my collection doesn't grow too, too crazy. So there's that. Um, now for the independents. I picked this up from Image Comics. It's Image Comics Presents A Christmas Story. I don't know. I don't know if it's a one-shot, but it's a pretty thick book. Um, it's got Santa Claus on the front. And he's holding, I don't know if you can see that or not, but he's holding a bloody axe. So, yeah, there's that. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's a one-shot. I think it might be. Um, I, I forgot to ask, but anyways, it's a pretty good sized book, and really looking forward to reading that. Ain't nothing like a good Christmas horror movie. Okay, now for The Walking Dead, issue number 77. There were four issues of that that came out this week. As you guys know, I pull all of the, the covers for Walking Dead that come out at the comic book shop. Um, not any special variants or anything like that, just the regular ones that come out at the comic book shop. So there's that one. Uh... There's this one. There is this book here. This cover here. And the last one is been a is a connecting cover that they've been doing for the past, I don't know, four or five issues. So there's that. So pretty cool. I'll stay on board as long as they keep doing them, so until or until the series ends. So there's that. Okay, now for my non X Men related titles, uh, Ghost Rider number twenty. Pretty cool cover. Love Ghost Rider. He's probably like my top five, top ten favorite characters in the Marvel universe. So always pick the new Ghost Riders up when I can. Uh, up next is Immortal Thor number four. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this book or not. I might drop it. We'll see um, how things go, but there's that. And, ugh, crazy. Alien number one, another reboot. Um, it seems like this title just keeps getting rebooted. I don't know if it's miniseries, but they don't say miniseries on them. Um, but it's another number one, so there's that. Love the Alien movies, so we picked that up. And the last non-X-Men related book is Marvel Zombies number one, Black and White and Blood. Um, I was just at the rack and they at the counter and they have like a, a spinner rack with a bunch of number ones on there that are, you know, they're, they have them there for if you want to try something new or if you want to think about getting something you're not, in, you know, there's just a bunch of number one. I saw this one and I'm like, what the hell? I forgot this even came out. And it's a pretty badass Wolverine cover, so of course I had to pick that up. Yeah, but they have a whole spinner rack of just number ones. Indies, DC, Marvel, just in case you wanted to pick a title up and jump right on and it's relatively new, you're good to go. Um, pick this up. I had to get this. Dare, uh, De Daredevil. Deadpool 7 Slaughters. Um, this is a variant cover. It's a $10 book. It's a one-shot, but apparently he... I don't know, something about he how many people can he kill in seven nights or something. I don't know, but looking forward to reading that. looked interesting. Uh, okay, now for the X titles, we have Jean Grey number four. I believe this is the final issue of this little series. I believe this is like a mini-series, so um, I believe this is the last issue of that. Then we have Children of the Vault number four. You know, and I... You know, my life ambition, or my life goal, is to collect all the X-Men titles. So some of these I probably wouldn't even carry, but the fact that they're an X-Men title, 
and it's better to get them now than later. So, some of these titles I would have dropped already. I like Alpha Flight, Alpha Flight number four, but the completest in me says I have to get it, so here we are. And a couple more left, guys. We got Uncanny Avengers. Um, I might, I might drop this book here. Um, I'm really trying to trim the fat, really, to be honest with you guys. Because I have to slow down on the collecting. Um, there's just too many good deals at the flea market. And to pay five, six dollars for a new book when I could get five or six comics. And I know it shouldn't be quantity. It's not really quantity. It's about cl completing runs and stuff. And I find so many run fillers at the flea market that it's hard not to pick them up. So there's that. Uh, we have Dark X-Men number four. And the last book for the week, guys, um, this is another one that I would probably, I would most definitely drop. Astonishing Iceman, number four. Um, I'm not sure if, um, this is a, you know, a continuation, but, if it's a miniseries, but, uh, man, it's hard, it's hard not to drop this book. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this haul. Remember to like, thumbs up, subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I'm probably gonna do... Uh, a video right now from my flea market haul, so I'll have two videos today, this one and then in the um, in the flea market haul video, so stay tuned for those guys, I'm gonna try to do a video, a couple videos tomorrow maybe a video Friday I'm, I'm gonna try to do as many videos as I can pump out these books, anyways I hope you enjoyed this, remember to like thumbs up, subscribe, it is the junkie shout out to my beautiful wife Jessica and I'm out. Peace.